Hello everyone and welcome back to FS22 Public Works on Zora. And as you can see, we have had a, a slight mishap. Um, we were guessing on... I had to... Um, fortunately I had to buy a new trailer as the trailer in the last episode broke. And uh, the person delivering it... Well, they fell off a cliff. Um, that's what I say. The person's alright. Uh, managed to get him to the uh, A and E where he only had minor injuries, um, so that's fine. However, my insurance would not cover the recovery, so we have had to go out and rent two machines: one for towing him, uh, towing the tractor and trailer to get repaired, which is this one, and then another one to lift him, lift it. Sorry, out of well lift it up the cliff uh, is probably the easiest way of doing it uh, saying it so yeah so that's what this one's for um, I've never tried this before never I've never been in charge of two wreckers before so we're gonna give this a go but I know to start off with we have a cable and we have a winch so we need to make sure that we are connected so I'm gonna run down this hill it's alright to walk down, it's just you cannot drive up it. Uh, the truck's pretty badly dinged up as well on the inside, like it won't turn on. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hopefully attach, yeah, there we go. Cable is attached, nice. Uh, let's just get this started. We're probably going to have to shift a few times. Ooh, a bit steep there. We're going to have to shift it a few times, turn it about a bit and... Just got to turn the engine on before we can do anything. And let's turn on the wrecker, make sure the wrecker's on. So we're going to winch in via the remote just to see, just to make sure we're okay. So we're going to winch. See what happens. Oh, the neither truck is moving at the minute. Let's, let's do a bit of fast winching, see, see what progress we can maintain and make. Oh, well we've got the truck facing in the right direction, that is something. We might have to do, hopefully we don't have to do this in two lifts, we shouldn't have to. Come on. Winch is overheated. So we will leave it a few seconds. But I hope you guys have had an amazing weekend. I know this is not what we wanted to uh, to come back to. For sure, we definitely did not want to start our week off by having to rescue our brand new trailer. But it is what it is. Um, <laughs> just thankfully nobody was hurt. But I hope you guys all had an amazing weekend, and I hope. You guys are looking forward to the week ahead, be it school, work, whatever you guys do. Um, I'd love to know what you guys do as well. Put that down in the comments. Let me know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to the week ahead. I hope you've had a lot, uh, very good weekend. If you have, I would love to know what you got up to. If you haven't, I'm sorry. And hopefully my videos will cheer you up a little bit. Um, but yeah, there's there's uh, loads actually going on with, with me at the minute. We're getting a new series started as I start winching this back in again. I'm um, getting a new series started, GSO Group. That should be starting this week, hopefully. Well, no, the video will come out next week, but hopefully can get some of the recording done this week. Uh, fingers crossed, anyway. And um, what else is going on? There is actually quite a bit going on. We got that going. Another episode of GSO Demolition is coming on, and I'm thinking of starting a new series as well. So it will be every day there will be a video recorded, uh, hopefully. Of, I don't want to spoil too much, but like an emergency service style one, and then one with one day which will just be random. Um, you know, whatever I'm playing, I'll record a bit of and you know post that. Um, but if you guys think that would be cool, let me know. Let me know, please. And um, we can definitely get something sorted in that aspect. 
Um, yeah. Winch is overheated again. This is a lovely wrecker. Lovely little Kenworth. Well, little. I say little. It's massive. Um, but getting it up this part is going to be the hardest because it is vertical nearly enough and the wheels are locked into a very awkward position as well um, so we are going to have a great great time with this I probably should have just rented a crane and just lifted it to be completely fair but I didn't think of that sorry guys I'm very, very tired at the minute um, let's see if the winch has got a bit more go come on come on one thing I don't want to happen is exactly what's happening uh oh we're stuck on a massive rock so we might have to um, disconnect I'm gonna see if that happens again and if it does yeah nope let's just release that winch We are going to disconnect. Hopefully, it stays put. We're going to attack it from a different angle, maybe over this direction. So, we just need to move a little bit. Unfortunately, we're going to have to move a few times just to, just to actually get this up and get this get our, all our problems solved and fixed and sorted gonna need to move the skid steer Let's move the skid steer we're gonna use the skid steer to block off the road make sure nobody else comes down here and I'm thinking we're gonna have to put in some, you know, crash style barriers or something. Um or like, you know, some sort of really strong netting maybe, I don't know. Uh just to protect from this sort of protect everyone from this sort of thing happening again, sorry. Just had a complete mind fart. But um hopefully we've got enough oh yeah, ample cable. Ample cable. Let's attach that again. Okay, cool. It's slipping slowly, but that's fine. We just now got to keep a really, really close eye on the wrecker. Make sure the wrecker's going to be okay during this. It's lifting ever so slightly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I have no idea what's stuck on. What's this? What this is stuck on now? Okay, it's coming to the hard part. That's why. Let's see if we can get in here and turn the wheels. No. I can't turn them. Engine won't start, I just tried. Unfortunately. Okay. Um What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Uh if I use the skid steer to push down on the front of the bonnet, maybe just maybe that might give it a bit more strength I mean we do have the big um, the big excavator as well in the hole and that conservation project maybe that might that might do something I will we'll leave that like that there's a very weird collision there um, but hey ho it is what it is I can't see anything man That skid steer is definitely helping it a little bit. That almost went badly. Right, yeah, we're still definitely stuck. Um, there is one more thing we can try before before we have to call in the professionals. Which would be to just drive with the winch still attached to see if we can get it past this part. 
Maybe that will work. I don't know. If I open for these supports, just drive. Just drive into a better position, maybe. And what we're going to do is we're going to sit inside the cab because now I can actually see everything. Need two hands to be doing this. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa. We got it a bit further. We did definitely get it a bit higher up. It's still not wanting to budge, is it? Damn. I don't know what else we can try. I guess if I got rid of the trailer, maybe. We could definitely rescue his cab. But then I don't know how we're going to get that up. Um... Maybe then we will need to get a crane. Maybe in the next episode we've got to get a crane out here. Can I disconnect that? I... Probably don't. Okay, cool. The trailer is disconnected. Let's see if we can save this man's... truck, at least. Hopefully we can save his truck. The trailer, I'm not too worried about. It wasn't that much money. So we can always just... If it's unrecoverable, we can always buy another one and solve that issue that way. I think we're stuck on a ro oh, there we go. The remaining tension in the winch fixed and solved that issue for us. So when we get it up, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drive it to our main base our yard and uh, we'll get it repaired there and then in the next episode we will come back with a crane to rescue our trailer hopefully I've got a crane that's strong enough for the job or hopefully someone has a crane rather because with five thousand five thousand pounds we're definitely not going to be able to buy a crane but we might just might be able to lease one Okay, that is as far as we can get that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tow it out into the open. We're going to remove our supports. We're just going to tow it out into the open. Basically we're going to send it back off the cliff. Just for a second while I try and figure this out. Oh, really don't want to collide with it. That would not be a good look. Okay, that will do there, so let's release the cable, let's lower this down, are you going to go down? I'm holding N. I'm thinking it's just ridiculously slow, I'm doing, no I can't unfold support. Now I can. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's because the... Can I winch it? Yes, I can winch it, but I can't lower it. Oh, there we go. That works. <laughs> Just ditch it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold this puppy up. And we are going to cool it a day with this one so what we're going to do is we're just going to park this one up here out of the way like that hopefully we don't get it stuck see I should have been driving that lorry we wouldn't have got it caught at all but I wasn't driving it and I don't want to be sound like not a very nice person, so uh oh. We are gonna have to push this one back. 
it lets me just so I can actually get the wheel lift under it and get it out of the way there we go that should do Yeah, so this is the TLX Phoenix Wrecker. Lovely, I love it. I will right, we'll unfold that. I'm gonna try and get that under it best we can. But that's not low enough. Okay, that's that one. That's the wrong one. Oh, that's too low. And then we should be able to doink and then lift. Hopefully, we, nope, we're not attached. got to hopefully attach it somehow and then we can get on with the driving if that's actually attached to it I have no idea oh, it clearly isn't okay that's not working why are you not working now? Uh, do I have to do something else? That's no, that's the wrong option. Right, lower that then. Maybe that was the reason. And then we'll get back into this one. Lower it all the way down to the ground, best I can anyway. that kind of works and then what we'll do is we will re-firm that up no we won't we'll keep that loose as we can get it whoa what is going on let's lower that down Right, let's raise that up. Okay, that's not going to work. Right. Let's try this again. sort of got it um it's not <laughs> really working but it's working kind of and that's all that matters what we'll do is we'll get it off these roads and then we'll call in for an actual flatbed to come and pick it up uh, that's probably the smartest way to do it I guess really wish we could raise that higher um, unfortunately there's no option to raise that any higher I don't think unless I'm being silly right let's see if we can get this up this hill guys and the moment it's up this hill we will um
Alright guys, we're gonna leave this here. Whoa, before it destroys the wrecker. And we will come and pick that up with a flatbed. I will get someone to come and pick that up with a flatbed. But we will park next to it to make sure nothing bad happens to it. And yeah, however, unfortunately guys, this is the end of the episode. Um, I hope you all very much enjoyed because this was something completely different. It was something we've never done before. Um, it was something new and definitely strange, but at the same time, very, very interesting and very fun. We've managed to rescue a man's truck. However, we haven't managed to rescue my brand new trailer, um, but we will definitely be doing that in the next episode. Um, if you guys haven't already, go follow me on Instagram. That's Jack Fazer Gaming. You get updates of some of my YouTube videos, some of my streams, and you get to see pictures of the dog. Uh, also, go follow my wife and my's um, t-shirt business on Instagram as well. That's Better Mind T-shirts. Uh, join my Discord, and if you don't know where the Discord is, leave a comment saying, "Can I please join your Discord?" Because you get to join in with videos like this. Um, but you have to be in the Discord and have to own farming sim, obviously. Um, and if you if you can't, don't want to type in a comment, go and look at my stream, it's in there, my stream's Jack Fazer as well, go give a follow on there on Twitch, um, and you'll find the Discord in there, and also guys, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe on this YouTube, they're all free, and I really appreciate it, we're trying to hit 150 by the end of July, um, but as always guys, I hope you all very much enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.